Hey, welcome to the week. And what we want to talk about this week is the stock track assignment. That's a simulation that you're all working through. The goal of last week was to get everyone subscribed. I got 22 subscribers. At this point, we've got a few people that are not in this list. If you are one of those, you've got to get your account created. Go back to last week and get that done. For most everyone that did it, you are in the list. So this week is about getting started with a few simple trades and some things to try to help you do to get started, a few strategies. Not much, next week I'll share with you some more details strategies but I need you to really understand how to trade and I need you to put some trades in to help you yourself out also in this week you will see a discussion make sure you complete that and it really just has to do with how to trade in stock track so let's get into the stock track system also I want to talk about the CME group which is from our first test but it's the futures market where you might want to go to kind of gain some insight on whether to buy or whether to sell so I want to kind of give you a little bit of that today let's get started all right, when you go into your stock track account, I am in the teacher side where I see I've got 22 of you. If I go down to the bottom and hit portfolio reports, I can see I've got 22 of you, uh, 15 total trades made. And if I look at the rankings, I will see all of you in a list. And so here everybody is. We've all got about $500,000. Now that's if you you know get your account started. I made a few trades as well as Jace did, and we actually have made a little bit of money. Jace is ahead of me a bit. Um, if you go down the list here, everybody's pretty much got the same because they hadn't made any trades yet, which you weren't supposed to. Now I've got some people here on the bottom that have kind of made some trades, and Henry here has lost a little bit of money, so we've got to kind of help you guys get out of the hole, and I don't want to add to that, so be careful with your trades. So as a teacher, I can see all of you, but what does it look like for you? Well, I'm gonna to go to my portfolio, my open positions. Well, in fact, let me talk about these menus across the top. Your menus are gonna be more individual. So like my portfolio would be what all of you would have. You'll just see your position. Now, how do you trade? Underneath trading is futures, and that's how you make a trade. So you can see an example here. I've got corn contract. It looks like I've got one corn contract. That number is positive, which lets me know I probably bought it. And it looks like the market has gone up and that made me about $187.50. So those are the things that are kind of happening here. Now, that's an example of what I have in my account, but you may have a trade. And if you do, there it is. Um, if you want to get out of a trade, so I got in this trade. If you want to get out of the trade, right there underneath action. So underneath your open positions, there it is. If I click trade right here, it automatically pulls up and it chooses sell. Because I started with a buy, so it automatically knows it's gonna to try to help me get out. And then I have to fill out the rest of this. So it's grains and oil seed, it's a corn contract, um, I need to know the correct month. I think it was a December contract of 2020 that I did. So there's the corn contract for December. One contract at the market. Now it's telling me the market's closed. So next day is when I'll actually show this to be done. All right, so that's how you get out. Um, we're doing everything right now at the market. We'll talk about these other terms later. And if I hit preview, then it's gonna come up and ask me to do trading notes. So this is where I want you to tell me what you're doing and you're saying in this case, I was able to get started trading, but I want to get out of this position. So I am selling the one contract that I bought. And so you're just telling me a little bit about what you're doing with this. These trading notes are part of your grade, so you make sure you make sense. Hit confirm, and then that is going to say that you are done, success. Now notice when you sell something, it puts a negative on that. It's like it's going away out of your account. So usually you're gonna start off with positives, then sell them, that's a negative. Or if you start off with a sell, you'll start off with a negative, and then a positive would be putting that back into the market by you buying that same thing you sold back. But either way, you're offset. All right, so that is how you get out of a trade that you're in, but how do you get started? So underneath trading, choose futures, 
and we want to go ahead and think about what a trade is. What would we do? Well, I'm gonna jump over to another website, cmegroup.com. This is where the futures market is, and this is really where you want to go to decide what kind of position do you want. So if I come to this market, I'm gonna choose uh, markets, and I'm gonna choose agriculture. And so right from there, right from the markets, I should say, you can go to any commodity out there. If you choose agriculture, then you will go straight to that particular market. But you can go through here and look at all of the products right down there by all products, or you can click on agriculture and go to the specific ag page. Now, once I get to the ag page, I can look at different commodities, but I am going to take a look at, let's scroll down, I'm gonna go to pork. And I was looking at pork earlier. So when you get to any of your commodity pages, grain or cattle or pork, then you will basically see um, the contract specs, like how big are these contracts? So if I click on one, it will tell me that all hog contracts are 40,000 pounds. And it will tell me when they're traded, the times of day. Uh, looks like um, Friday, 8.30 a.m. to one o'clock central time. And so if you go through here, it even gives you some abbreviations on how it's listed in a commodity. It goes through here and talks a little bit about the uh, pricing and let's see here, the uh, levels, the five minutes, 15 minutes, excuse me. Um, it talks a little bit about the contracts. All right, so if we keep going through here, that is the contract specs. If you come back up to the top, it's going to uh, let's see if I can get just to the contracts. There's even some videos that'll play on everyone about what is the contract. And let's see here if I can get back to um, what I wanted here was actually the corn contract itself. Maybe just give me a link to the corn contract. It does not. Let's see here, uh, maybe the basics. I don't want the basics either, unless it gives me a link right to it. Uh, there's a lot of resources on each one about how to trade, so you can go learn more about those, but I need to get to basically just the corn, I mean the pork contracts. I'm gonna go back to markets, and I'm gonna go to, um, Let's see here, all products. It's gonna pull these all up. So I can go and say, I want agriculture, there we go. So now I'm getting all the ag commodities, but you can see the ones in here. And I'm gonna look at uh, lean hog futures. Stay away from options at this point, just look at futures. There we go, lean hog futures, and it's gonna give me some uh, details about the contract itself. Um, but I want to get the quotes. There we are. So here they are on the quotes, and there are the hog contracts. So October is what we call the front month. That's where we are right now. December is a month that's out there that I probably would trade because it's going to be the most current front month right after we get past October. And so February may not be bad to trade. Um, you can see the volume here. And you can see how December has a really big volume. That's the one most actively traded. Try to trade contracts that have a good volume. That way you see prices going up and down, up and down. If you want to take a look at what it looks like, let's click the chart. And the chart's gonna pull up and show me that if I scrunch this in a little bit, and I'm not going off a whole lot of data here at this point, I'm just looking simply at the chart. And when I do that, I can see that hogs how are way up there. Now they've been pretty low for a long time in the 50s and down here. And so you can see that it's run up at a pretty high price right now of 66, 35, 100 weight. So let's just say that I looked at my chart here and decided that was a pretty high limit that I looked for some downward movement. Now you're not really sure why it's gonna go down, but um, we'll talk more about strategy later, but most everyone would agree that hogs are up right now. So what comes up must come down. So let's look at how do you create a short position on a contract. Well, go back to your stock track trading and go to trading futures 
and then let's put in a trade. So I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna buy and sell. That's the one way you can buy and later sell. But how do you sell first? That's actually called a short and a cover is how you get out in stock track. Those are just terms. So let's look at how we can do that. Let's say we would then short indices, go through here. You're gonna look for livestock, go through here, lean hogs, that's what we were just looking at in the futures market. Come here, choose the month. I told you December is the one we wanna go with. That 66.35 is where the market is right now. Going into the futures commodity, that's where that's coming from. All right, we go through here. If I were you in your trades right now, I would stick pretty small with one to two contracts. Market order is what you want. And I am going to go through here and hit preview. Now preview, it's gonna take about 1300 bucks out of my account. I got the money for that, no problem. I'm gonna come through here and put, I see hogs to be high priced. So I am going to short them and see if I can profit from the market going down. All right, so that's a pretty good definition to what I'm after here. I'm gonna hit confirm. And now I have got myself a short on a set of lean hogs. There's the abbreviation that you might get to later. Now this position hasn't been in yet, so if I go to open positions, I don't really see anything other than that corn move right now and that's because the market is not open yet so i've got to give it some time to get open i put this in after hours okay so that is how you can make a trade your assignment this week is to get started trading now i'm not really going to grade your trade this week so you can do anything you need but get trading here's the thing that's going to happen this is our trading week beginning so if you don't get a trade in this week when i go to look at your grades I'm gonna go all the way back to this week and say, did they trade in the beginning? If the answer is no, you're gonna lose points in the overall ending grade. I mentioned how you would be graded here in this particular section of the class. It adds up to be an exam grade, but you're gonna be graded in, number one, did you start trading when I ask? So that's this week, trade. You already saw last week how you could buy and then sell. And this week I'm showing you that hogs looks high. So here's how you would sell and then later buy back. In other words, in stock track, it's called a short and then a cover. So that's how it's done in stock track. And that was shown to you on there. Get some trades in, make one or two contracts be the total amount. Don't get in very deep. If you can make a little money, then go ahead and get out of that position. If you lose some money, we'll talk about some strategies but get in the market and start trading this week. That sets you up. That's really the assignment. You've also got a discussion in the week, so take care of that. Pretty easy week, just get going. If your name is not in my list, if you don't have an account, make sure you get that account created. Go to last week's videos and watch that. All right, thanks. Get the discussion done and get trading. Next week, I'll give you a couple of setup strategies you can use to try to start trading a little more aggressive. And then we'll see where everybody is because the goal this week is for everyone to get a couple of trades in. So get one or two contracts out there and get those started.